This here is some Sparta type shit. Two designers, two models, two half hours. Find out who will take home the shit we didn't sell at our gra garage sale. Stay tuned for this week's Portland Place or Thing. Portland Placer thing. I'm Kat. And I'm Amanda. Go, go ahead. You go. Oh, God. You go. Ah. It's already started It's all so about well. fighting. It's all about fighting today. All right. <laughs> this is our one year anniversary show. Yay! Happy birthday! Yes. And so let's do some paper gowns. So yes. we looked up what you were supposed to do on your one year anniversary, and apparently it's paper themed. And since this is our 12th episode, yes. official. Official 12th episode, and it already kind of feels like a marriage. We thought we consummated already. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, yeah. <laughs> uh, we decided that we would, uh, what would we do? We would have a paper gown battle. So we would have two designers model, our, use our bodies. Our bodies. Our bodies, put paper around it, make gowns, and then have a competition and win uh, not great prizes. <laughs> right? That sounds pretty right? cool. That sounds about right. All right, all right. All right, so today we have two inspiring designers joining us today. Designer from House Rose Squared, we have Roro. Give it up! Woo! Come on, come on, come on over. Come oh, on I gotta over. come over. Yeah, you can walk over. Yeah, you can walk over. Yeah, can walk over and oh, I got with and the his assistant Lindsay. Let's bring Lindsay. The help right. of the <laughs> scissor slicer, <laughs> Lindsay. I have intros ah, for everyone. I promise. Right. Uh, designer that is about to make a scene in New Orleans. Woo! Yanni. Yeah. With the help of the tape tastic Danielle. Come on yes. over, Danielle. Yes. <laughs> Look at her. She's sticky. <laughs> okay, so I have more to read. Okay. <laughs> Judges for this friendly fold or the judge for this friendly fold session is Andrew. Give it up for him. Eight by ten card Suck stock. up to him. Suck up to him, peeps. Uh, yeah, keep that clapping going. <laughs> his opinion will determine the winner of this challenge. Uh, to help with the origami folding, our musical guest is Aaron and Colin. Yay! Who's behind us? They're the, behind us. They're that great. Guy. Yay! Look at Aaron. Aaron. <laughs> it's Colin. <That> guy. <laughs> <laughs> so please stay tuned. Um, so Roro, how do you feel? I feel absolutely fantastic, ready to go, and ready to win it. Ooh, Yenny, how are you feeling? I feel not as fantastic, <laughs> not as confident. I think it'll look okay. All right, <laughs> that sounds fantastic. Let's, without I further ado, yeah. let's get this battle fucking on. What do we say? What do we say? I don't remember what we say. Tape it. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Go. Oh, okay. All right. All right. So <laughs> I'm gonna. Good. We're gonna be doing some sort of commentary during this whole thing. All right. Kat and I so will be models. We're gonna be models, but we're gonna um, be, you know, chipping in with our uh, little whatnot. There's back no measuring tape. We brought there. some uh, paper mats no with us today. Um, we had a bunch of people bring in paper oh, so memories. So we're just supposed so to do it on top of what you're wearing. We're going to be yeah. talking about those. Oh, Jesus, uh, Mary and Joseph. Yeah, well, we have just the right shirt on. Okay. Means something. Means okay, something that's fine. That's fine. Uh, no, no, that's fine. All right, so we'll just do it on there, I guess. Special thing Okay, so let's start with that. We have different sizes of butcher paper. While we are knocking off all this stuff, and Roro is just jumping into it. Like immediately, it looks amazing. Um, <laughs> right? He's it's like there is okay. no time lost on this. He knows what he's doing. He's going for it. Fashion, but I understand fashion. Andrew, are you excited to judge? Okay, so let's see what we got. I'll well, start on the yoke on the top. Know, hi, mom. I know not the first thing about how clothing actually operates, other than you put it on to stop the screaming. <laughs> Very odd at first. Okay. To aid with this, I have downloaded an app that will give me random fashion buzzwords. 
You're a techie guy, you know what's up. I have got the answers yep. here. Loose As we can see, Roro's singular grasp of eco-friendly signifiers is more than paying off. I would have to uh, agree, I think. Probably. What else you got for us? Well, Yenny's uh, mission the for the part? year is yeah. to make the ultimate 3D printed jumpsuit. <laughs> uh, maybe it is a jumpsuit. I don't know what either of them are doing, really. I would think a dress would be the easiest, but maybe they can wow Andrew with the little pants business. A little flared... I don't know what's happening. If you have a skirt coming off the leggings, it is still technically a dress. And sure. I will allow it. All right, all right, fair enough. The base of the uh, Hey, Andrew, do you want to hear a uh, really... Oh, this is gonna be do you want to hear a joke? You just feel ridiculous right now? Yes. yes. Do you want to hear a joke? Sweet. Um, are you ready? Knock, knock. Who's there? Europe. Okay, I'm going to take scissors towards your body, but don't I didn't hear you over the paper. I ruined knock, your knock. Joke. Who's there? Be Europe. Bad. Europe poo. Sure, no, Europe poo! How long you want to make it? <laughs> I want it probably hitting about I have that. Been entertained. Is, that is the like, high quality poo -poo. of jokes yeah. that I have worked out for this show. Okay, You're welcome, your Amanda. I'm the one stuck out. on the mic. Do, 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 do. How do you think the unthinkable? Anybody? Anybody? White lightning? With an iceberg. Get it? That was terrible. Uh, you Amanda. loved it. You loved it. <laughs> Everybody loved it. <laughs> Yenny, would you please get to work and silence her? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going for dress, not uh, gag. Well, let's uh, throw him into the deep end. Boobs, huh? Aaron, Aaron, come join me. Come, come. I'm just gonna have you yeah, jump in immediately. Come bring your, bring your memory. Uh, memory. Bring your memory. I'm gonna have you talk into this mic over here, okay. if you'd oh, be so now. kind. Just jump over, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna go over this thing. Um, so I'm gonna have you, oh look, we have the same height. I feel so tall. Okay, I'm gonna have you talk about your memory and show it to the camera and tell everybody at home what it's all about. Well, it's, uh, it's actually a flyer from the first, first paying gig that we did back in 2000. Aww. Uh, so I, I've, I've unearthed it from the, the catacombs. And uh, it's actually a gig that I did with uh, my buddy Colin over here in separate projects. So there's a little bit of nostalgia to tie things back into yeah. the, the, the relative times that are going on now. So, so yeah. So, uh, is, how much did you get paid? Okay. Oh, I think we all got like 20 bucks. Hey. Yeah. But uh, hey, money in the pocket. Yeah, that's what it's about. Can't complain. Okay. So are you excited about seeing this battle today? I am. I'm, I am curious. <laughs> I, I'm very curious to see what's going to happen here. We've got some very competitive designers yeah. and, and large creative minds at work. I, I think yeah. well, this I'm is going to turn out really exciting. Out I, am, so. I am stoked about uh, the fact, because I don't know if everybody knows this, but Roro actually won Chopped, won an episode of Chopped, because he's phenomenal at everything he does. Um, yet he's also amazing, and I don't want to. It's gonna be but he is really competitive. Yeah. Um, so that's fine. He actually fine. has that's practice fine. at this. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, sure. He really also great. has practice. I've made doll clothes before. Hey, doll <laughs> clothes work. They I tried to make a dress, well, and it turned into an thing. apron. It's just on a larger scale. Right, right. It's just a bigger body. Definitely. <laughs> because doll clothes that are made for me would probably actually fit me. Yeah. Well, anything made for you would actually fit you. Yeah. That, that's how. Yeah, you know how it is. Sometimes you gotta, you gotta get creative and no, you know, roll sure. your paper sleeves out. Get that to right. work. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you. Feel free to go uh, sit down and uh, shut up until. No, I'm just kidding. You're fantastic, Aaron. Um, if nobody else is uh, uh, going to speak right now, I am Amanda. I forbid you. Haha, ha, Amanda doesn't have a mic. Hand. Guess what that means? Ooh, means Good that all the Dayquil I took is just gonna service this show. Um, Bitch, I found Brandon, a mic. Brandon, let's have you talk about your paper memory. Come on over, take this mic, get to it. All right. Wait, that actually worked out. Yay, Perfect. paper. Woohoo, paper. All right, so I actually brought two. Yeah, so I, I have two of them here. So I don't know if we'd like me to. I have two. Do we want to go with? Okay. Well, the first one here is my ordination papers from the Universal Life Church, also known as a printout, but you know it still works. 
um, that allowed me to uh, officiate my friend's wedding. Yeah, so I joined a couple of my friends together. They've been together um, for, man, fi 15 years maybe since then. Have like three kids, all named like their D&D characters. Um, yeah, it was a... It was a fun time. It's a fun memory. It's uh, it's they oh, actually, actually, year later, What's had time a catch more or official somebody? memory so what you're gonna do, actually, uh, that they did. But yeah, they had a more left. official Three wedding for the family, a real priest. So and I sat the whole time going, yeah, and mine was the one that stuck. Um, you know, and Raz and a priest, as you do. Um, <laughs> fuck the priest. Fuck, fuck, yeah. fuck the poor Reese. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Actually, yeah. What's your other one? Okay. The other one, this is the more the aw thing. It's just, it's this little drawing of a heart that my friend gave me. Uh, my dear friend Kristen gave me one day just out of the blue for no reason. It's just this, it's a big and pointless and badass. Uh, just gave me out of the blue and I've kept it in my wallet ever since because I'm a sentimental bastard. And yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> All right, thank you for sharing your beautiful memories. Amanda. Hi. Welcome back to the show. Hi, I got a mic <laughs> and I got a Roro around me. <laughs> He's making sure to find my tits in this gown. I love the process. He's employing, uh, employing here um, uh, a lot of shit ton of tape and some hot glue <laughs> and it's working out pretty well uh, as you can see i'm getting a waste <laughs> i don't have pretty, a waist you're looking um, pretty good so far thanks also uh uh lindsay over here is cutting out uh, my memories uh, when i was in i've talked about this before when i was in high school i was obsessed with vogue and bizarre and i would cut out all of these fashion pictures from the magazines and i brought them here today and she is using them to create some beautiful like leaf shapes. Sorry for the noise, Jacob. Hashtag sorry, Jacob. Uh, meanwhile, Roro is doing something on my butt. I love it. Uh, hashtag butt stuff. Uh, Roro, how are you feeling about things? I'm feeling great. I'm going with my organic self and I'm just doing things that they come natural to me. I'm just gonna see how it turns out. I love it. Right. I love it. Yenny, how are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. This is this is fun. We're just focusing on this. Yeah. We're just gonna interrupt you all the time. And oh, that's fine. Fuck up your your. I'm just gonna flow. ignore you. Don't that's worry about perfect. it. Perfect. <laughs> what do you have Danielle doing? Daniela is currently making accordion <laughs> folds in tissue paper Ooh. for this thing we wanted to make. For the accordion <laughs> that goes with this. Tell me about it. Yeah. Uh, hey Andrew. Yes. What fashion insight can you give us? I'm glad to see that Roro is answering the age-old question of what kind of track pants Kurt Cobain would skateboard in. <laughs> At this rate, it will turn out to be a fabulous dress, I am sure. Amanda does have a waist, which I have not seen since the last time I got her drunk. <laughs> Wait, because she was waist 10? Indeed. Ah. Uh, what about Yenny's look? She's you? giving it her best, and no one can take that away from her. <laughs> I, think it, I mean, look, it's got, like, shape. I can't see it. There we go. See, it's pretty good. Indeed. She appears to be preparing the oh, WWF victory belt for you. <laughs> oh, I have my own. I look forward to watching you hit um, Amanda over the head with it at the conclusion of the ceremony. Uh, It'll be amazing. Let's see. There's going to be blood everywhere. Oh, perfect. All right, I, just I think it's time for another lot. joke. Crap. An officer, are you ready? You're going to love it. It's I'm a really good joke. <laughs> so an officer pulled over a car, and the, he hmm. walked up to it and saw that there were 12 penguins in the back seat. And he said to the driver, yeah. why do you have those 12 penguins? You should take them to a zoo immediately. And so the driver's like, okay. And the next day, the officer pulled over the same car, and he had 12 penguins in the back. And he said, what the fuck is going on? I thought I told you to take him to the zoo. And he goes, I did, and now we're going to the movies. <laughs> we have 45 more minutes I'm not even listening to you, Kat. Uh, time check is... 15 minutes in. 
45 minutes remain. For, but well, about, 40 about minutes 45, remain. 45, 40 minutes. 40, 40 minutes, minutes remain. remain. I can't do oh, math. Man. That's all right. Thank God I'm pretty. <laughs> um, oh, Amanda. Yes, what Kat. did Kate leave for us? Uh, an origami piece that Kate made, which is really awesome. I think Brandon's shuffling over here to grab it and show it off it's so that so we can cute. give praise be to Kate. Yep. Yeah, praise Yay. be to Kate. Praise be on to Kate. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Abby. Our, our, our patron saint. Our patron saint. Yeah. Our patron uh, Kate. Uh, could you come here for just a second? Hold she that. made this like... Oh, minutes before yes, we actually started you. filming and just ran in and handed it to us. Look how beautiful and perfect it is. Don't eat it, Brandon. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let go. Bad Brandon. You you don't eat Kate's gifts. Let go. We only Thank enjoy you. Kate's gifts by looking at them. We can hug them. That's okay. Don't squish it. Don't let me her gift. I'm seriously going to bring up Of Mice and Men on every, every episode. episode. <laughs> every single episode I'm going to bring it up. One of these days, our viewers will be cultured. R.I.P. Lemmy. At the bottom? Top. Uh, I'm sorry, I missed what you said, Andrew. I said one of these days, our viewers will end up accidentally cultured. (laughs) (laughs) Portland Placer thing. You can do better. You can do better. We we spent a bunch of time uh, recently watching uh, our last videos, because we do viewing parties, because, you know, we're self-obsessed. And uh, the one thing, the one, th- the, there was a few themes that we learned. I mean, it is our one year anniversary, so we might as well have a, a look back on a the years drink, that happened. A long cry. Um, one of them was you could do better. Another one was how often we apologize to Jacob, our uh, sound guy. Uh, he's, uh, for those of you who uh, don't know Jacob, he is a huge, like, muscle bound insanity of a person so he can be quite scary so we apologize to him uh all the time because we i don't know what's funny i don't know what's funny we're laughing out of fear i'm trying to warn people about jacob he's how scary and burly he is he's the reason i wasn't here for the second episode exactly i was busy being rebuilt in a hospital on a budget too so thanks obama that's exactly what happened he beat the shit out of Andrew because Andrew talked back and you can't talk back. All you can ever do is apologize. It's all you can do for Jacob is just apologize to him. Sorry, Jacob. We are so very sorry. Praise be to Kate and apologize to Jacob. This is Portland Place or Thing. Okay, can I talk now, Cap? Absolutely. Awesome. Okay, I'll give you a little bit of a break while uh, Yenny is doing some discussing. So, so far, which Roro, my, thank you, <laughs> thank you, Abby. Uh, Roro is hot gluing some, um, they look like leaves or petals to my bodice. Feathers, feathers. Feathers to my bodice. Uh, and he's using hot glue, and, he, and he's burning himself, and he promised not to burn me. Because he's really nice. And uh, let's see, I don't have any jokes or anything. Do you want some? Sure. Here. I like this somebody. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's see. Uh, yes, I love it. Okay. Which one? Okay. Uh, Don't do it to us. Vamp, Andrew, vamp for a second. Okay, well, I am glad to see that Yenny is putting her training in ancient poetry to work as she designs a dress for Cat. Oh, my. Ancient poetry? Okay. Ancient poetry. It's actually pretty accurate. Okay. Don't ask me. It's what the random generator says. <laughs> I got a joke. Thank you, engine generator. Why does a chicken coop have two doors? <laughs> Why? Because if it had four doors, it would be a chicken sedan. <laughs> <laughs> that one's pretty excellent. Uh, Fuck you, cat. Like Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at my body. Yes. Yes. Clar. <laughs> I mean, no, boost. I hate it. That's right. Competitor boost. Spoo. 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 Okay, I have another one. Oh, oh Rose in my way. Okay, oh, yeah. okay. All right, what did you got, Amanda? Where, where does the king keep his armies? I don't know. In his sleeve! Oh, yeah. in his sleeve! <laughs> All right, okay, I got nothing else. 
Is there a memory or something? Some yeah, bullshit? Yeah, Andrew, uh, I believe you have a sad paper memory. Indeed. I'm here to memory. lighten Andrew the tone. Do you have a happy paper memory? <laughs> you know, as a technophile, I have learned that a lot of my memories are disposable and easily forgotten. <laughs> so and? I have brought. What's that? And? And. So I went looking for the only pictures I have in my household. This is the prom era photo of a young lady named Stacy. It was two lifetimes ago, a good 14 years, that she passed away on the floor of my apartment. For the confused, here's me dressed like a hobo, if it zooms in this close. Back before I learned black was a way better color on me. On our Christmas trip to Florida. Andrew, I think you look great. I wonder what happened to that jacket. Do, 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 do. And no, last but not least, somewhere in my pile of random photography. The last semi-family dinner that I had with everyone before my grandmother, pictured on this side, passed away. Aww. Those are so sweet and wonderful. Indeed. I think you did a really good job, Andrew. Thank you, Andrew, you for sharing. Memories. But just so everyone knows, we're about 22 minutes in. We needed a musical. Oh, right. We have musical people, and they're wonderful. Right, those guys. I'm sorry. All right, uh, let's uh, get everything set up. Andrew, fuck off. <laughs> fuck off, Andrew. <laughs> Andrew! I'm trying. There's paper in the way. Go, go, go. Yeah. You got to get these musical gents. Thanks, up guys. <laughs> so we can swoon and dance very stilly in our dresses. I look great. Um, so, I'm pretty excited. I got to actually hear Aaron and Colin playing semi recently at a, a. It was a whiskey bar in Vancouver, and they didn't have anything except for whiskey, and so I didn't drink anything because I did not want. They didn't have like soda or anything. It was just water. That was the only option besides whiskey, basically. So I was like, well, I'm just gonna drink water and feel bad because I'm not buying anything. But I mean, it's their fault. What if non-alcohol people go there, like me? I am a non-alcohol. You pretend you're the designated driver and get free soda. I, I do pretend I'm the designated yeah. driver, but I can't no, even I'm drive. Just shouting at random. Uh, but yeah, because nobody heard that, Andrew. Nobody heard that, Andrew. Um. So, uh, Amanda. Yes. Hi. Uh, you haven't gotten to hear them, but uh, based on them being around, uh, what kind of music are you expecting? I am expecting some folky, maybe uh, maybe a little country jug band. I don't know. Uh, how about gangster rap? Yes. That's a solid guess. That's a solid guess. Uh, we're going to find out real shortly. <laughs> I know. We are so unprepared There's for this. There's so much paper everywhere, you guys. You have to understand that this is... Chaos on uh, purpose. <laughs> Sounds like Roro -Ro needs more magazine cutouts. Roro -Ro needs more magazine. Roro -Ro gets what he wants. Yes, he does. Oh, yeah. All right. Of course, maybe Yenny is more in sync with her assistant that they don't even have to speak, that <laughs> she's just doing exactly perfect. You guys good? Y'all ready to go? Uh, pretty all right. All right. Good enthusiasm, Colin. <laughs> All right. I think that's Maybe. the most excited I've ever seen him. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm <laughs> glad it was here. All right. Give it up for Aaron and Colin. Woo! Yeah. Hey, guys. Uh, this one's called Don't Leave Town. This morning, told me don't leave town. He told me don't leave town. And I disregard that warning. Hot flames, San Francisco did not turn around. to my 
my title and impressive resume Gonna run till I die You don't stand for something, ain't nothing ever gonna come your way That's the reason why Bungalow, I'm pushing 60 or 65. Finishing my scrapbook when the fence pass down my door. Duck in jail for life. But that ain't no way for a rebel to survive. He's very sneaky. Right? He's very sneaky. You're really fucking right. good. All right. Go sit your asses down. Okay. okay You've fine. been entertaining enough. Now get behind there. God. Get a feet behind me, really Aaron. Music. And we'll try and get back to you around 40 minutes in. Yeah. It'll be later. You guys will love it. Um, would you mind handing me that? Cool. About 20, 28. I am going to pull out a uh, random, sweating or not pull sweating. out, but whip out a random page <laughs> from this here book of paper memories that Roro gave to me to show off. Um, let's go with this one. Now, Roro, what can you tell me about this page? Um, I think those might be birthday cards or... Or some kind of anniversary cards to my husband. I'm a cat fanatic, so anything with any kind of weird cats on it, he always kind of gets me <laughs> to make me laugh and cheer me up, or it, just for birthdays and stuff. I'm not sure what does it say inside. It's they're super adorable. I don't know how close of a zoom or anything we could get on this, but it is quite delightful. Look at these cute kitties. <laughs> And it's a sweet little card. What's the uh, Brooklyn Manhattan Express bus service? Uh, wait. Uh, turn it towards me. Service? This one? This map? Oh, it must be um, a map from the, from the airport to wherever we were staying at because we went to New York to film a TV show, and I think that that might have been one of the maps we needed to use to get to the hotel. Oh, awesome. Yeah, because you guys are originally from New York. Yes, we are. Not Portland native, but Not Portland might as well native. be. <laughs> we forgive him yeah. for that. No, nah, it's all right. He's a welcome addition to our town. It's wonderful. Thank all right, you. I'm going to flip to sweet. another page while trying to not move my arms at all. Thank you, Kat, for taking oh, that on. Oh. I dropped some things, and I'm going to have okay. somebody pick them up. 
All right, how about this one? It says Lardo Sandwiches. Okay, so that book started out as our wedding um, sign-in book, but we op we rented an open bar, <laughs> so by the time everybody like got to the bar and everything, they were kind of like trashed already. <laughs> so it turned into our driving cross-country to Portland book. Oh, wonderful. So I saved all kinds of stuff that had to do with like that's What's probably that? the first time we ate at Lardo, Postics. so I saved the menu to remember that by and the cannabis. We were so amazed that when we came out here that like you could just buy pot at the store. <laughs> you know? like, we were just like, oh my God, that's so great. Sure, so that's amazing. So we have a uh, sticker of that, and I'm not sure what the map is behind it, but it's probably someplace in Portland. The map, yeah, it looks like just a Portland map in general, showing where the beaver store is and pioneer place and what have you right because we were also just trying to figure out where everything was at the time sure so well that is wonderful i'm going to turn to one more page all righty let's see uh, it looks like a whole bunch of love notes probably from gary oh uh, those are cards actually probably i gave to gary oh um, if they're underlined, it's just like a tradition in our family when you have reading cards, you underline it to personalize it a little bit more. So they're probably from me to Gary. They might be from my mom to me. But they look like they're oh, from me to Gary. It looks like they're from you to Gary. Yeah. They're signed Roro. They're absolutely sweet. Can I read one? Yeah, go for All it. All right. Let's see. When I met you, I had no idea how much my life was about to be changed. But then, how could I have known? A love like ours happens turn. once in a lifetime. Yeah. You were a miracle to me. The one who was everything. I had, oh, haha. <laughs> the one who was everything I had ever dreamed of. The one I thought existed only in my imagination. And when you came into my life, I realized that what I had always thought was happiness couldn't compare to the joy loving you brought me. You were a part of everything I think and do and feel and with you by my side, I believe that anything is possible. You guys, no, this is definitely no, a, card. a card. You guys, give it up for love. <laughs> I'm going to feel particularly bad when I give Yenny the win just to watch you at Row Row crumble. <laughs> no, it's absolutely beautiful. I'm going to have Abby come take this from me, though, just so it doesn't get mixed up in all the hullabaloo. Abby's yet another stagehand we've learned not to cross. <laughs> yeah, she's small, but she is agile. And we've learned to fear when she gives us the blowjob gesture. <laughs> Dark things are in our future when that comes our way. Not blowjob futures. Dark. Like stocks and blowjobs? Like blowjob futures? Stocks so? and blowjobs. Yeah. Stocks and blowjobs. Sorry. <laughs> I have to say, while well, Roro came out of the gate strong with his dress design, crumpling up that uh, brown wrap around Amanda, Yenny's picking up the pace with her own building of it. Ooh. Coming with the competition. Just coming. Uh, I am pretending I have a clue what I'm talking about. I... <laughs> You I pretending suppose. is very convincing. I suppose this is why I mentioned something, something cigarette cuts, and that rave feminism is making a comeback. <laughs> <laughs> You're all right. Do what you need to. All right, I have another joke for you, Andrew. Ah, crap. A magician drove down the street and turned into a driveway. <laughs> but um, <tsh. laughs> that was over with quickly. I appreciate it. Plateaus are the highest form of flattery. Uh, what? Cat, <laughs> <laughs> you're talking an awful lot, and I really appreciate that. No problem. You interrupt me at any moment in time. I got really nothing to say. You already said the really long officer pulled over a car. Do you want to trade cards? No. Uh, knock, knock. Did you say knock, knock already? Is it the Europe one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here, I have a knock, knock one for you, Amanda. Okay, tell me. Knock, knock. Who's there? H two. But to who? It's to whom? Yes. Shut up. I know. All right. Okay. I know. Okay. Let's get <laughs> let's get it together here, cat. Two fish are in a tank, and one says the other. Do you know how to drive this thing? Abby loves.
loved it. <laughs> She's laughing so quietly. I remember the last thing my grandpa told me before he kicked the bucket. Want to see how far I can kick this bucket? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's do it. <laughs> it's one of my favorites. <laughs> I love it so much. You didn't tell me torture was going to be part of this. <laughs> I mean, pay, mini, it's, it's kind of the equivalent to like a thousand paper cuts. <laughs> is... All of my terrible jokes that I found. You've got petals coming out of your butt, Amanda. I know. These people are dangerously close to my vagina (laughs) and my ass. Um, I do. It's been a while. Uh, (laughs) Is that why they smells like hot glue in here? Warm and sticky, you know. Yeah. Yeah, my badge is a hot glue gun. (laughs) (laughs) Ew. Warm and sticky. It oozes at any time you touch it. (laughs) Don't burn yourselves. you just have to like well, check in with Yenny and see what what is what concept is you got post-it notes all over you. I do. I'm you starting got, to get like, a, a lot of color gown going on. <laughs> I've got a gown. Done. Yeah. Indeed. Cat Yenny? looks like she's So, I'm ready adding to- I want to add uh, I wanted to try <laughs> to get more of an A-line shirt thing going. Uh-huh. So, I wanted to have more volume coming out, mm-hmm. which is really weird to do. Staples do not go where I want them to in this angle. Sure. Sure. But we're going to we're gonna make this awesome. I mean, as long as you're not stapling my butt, I'm fine. I mean, Good or, or to any know. other body part. Good to know. Please don't staple directly into my flesh. Oh, damn. Okay. Ooh, <laughs> staple directly into her flesh. <laughs> okay, I like this. Uh, just I like so this. everybody knows, we're about 37 minutes in. At about, so that's what, 14 minutes left? <laughs> at, at 40, you guys are gonna play again. Yeah. yeah. Get ready. Get ready to play again. Andrew, did you have um, something to say? I did, and then Amanda shouted me down. <laughs> so now I'm just going to play video games on my iPad. You're not playing video what games. What fashion quip do you steeples. have? <laughs> <laughs> what fashion quip do you have? Oops, sorry. Well, I'm going to try know. running one on my own without the random generator. Because what I we've got. You. Well, we've got two dresses here. It definitely looks like Kat's ready for a debutante ball. Well, Amanda's ready to pick up some strangers in a bar. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. I'm always ready for that. I, mean, like, I enjoy the contrast. The Grammys, right? What? If that's <laughs> the name of a drink involving two shots of Everclear, yes. Sure, yeah. After the Grammys, it's just two shots of Everclear. <laughs> 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 All right. That sounds pretty good. Um... I do, wait, oh no, Um, Abby's just talking to Tony. Sorry, Jacob. They're plotting against us. I gotta say, there's some innovation uh, happening over here with using glue sticks to roll the leaves. Yes, yes. That she's cutting out. It's pretty fantastic. Yeah. Uh, Sadly, nobody's utilized the toilet paper. Oh, that's that's (laughs) next. (laughs) That's next. next. (laughs) <laughs> That's getting tucked into the heels of your shoes. <laughs> oh, that I'm not would be wearing w- any shoes. Oh, you just ruined this. Then you're getting it stapled. <laughs> don't give. I don't All want right. to be stapled. Oh, Yenny's pulling out the streamers, you guys. Uh oh. Will the streamers match up against the magazine cutouts? Maybe. You decide. I'm America. not sure if I'm actually asking. <laughs> I've I'm got a whole. Sides on that one. I've got yeah. a whole day glow situation. Occurring. You do. You would be hard to lose at night. That's what we're going for. I notice that nobody's, nobody's really tapped into the uh, markers or color pencils that I brought just in case. Oh, you unplugged, uh, Roro. Uh, uh, the, the right. glue stick thingy. What is that called? Hot glue? Oh, oh no. Chaos. Chaos. Chaos at the Roro table. <laughs> 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 will he recover in time? <laughs> or will this episode of Iron dress paper and tragedy. <laughs> How about we get ready for our musical guest? I uh, think that's a good plan. And you're getting the fuck getting, out. Yeah. Aaron and Colin, please join us again with your twangy, beautiful, dulcet tones. Welcome back, Abby, in the back. Give it up for her. She's amazing. Helping, us out, helping us out like always. It's that you, fun, you, like, you, don't you, look you. at me. I don't want anyone to look at me. I'm just working. Leave me alone. I'm going to tell another joke. A Mexican wizard was performing a magic trick where on the count of three, he would disappear. He said, uno, dos, and poof, disappeared without a trace. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Origami, Brandon? Origami, take the next row. 
<laughs> oh. Is that going to be, we're going to incorporate Kate's biz into, uh-oh, uh-oh. All right. Just let us know whenever you guys are ready so we can very stilly rock out to your beautiful fucking music. So, oh, sorry, that was a stapler very close to my, wasn't expecting it. We're all right, we're all right. You're doing great. Sweet. All right, give it up again for Aaron and Colin. Woo! It's, uh, it's called Halfway Home. Last night in New York In the bitter eastern cold Cements me inside our hotel room Chills my very soul It's been a great adventure that Has led me down this path And now I see deliverance so I return at last Outside on the frozen streets The chilly people smile hello Who says a city that never sleeps can't have an afterglow Now I'm starting to get weary All I seem to see is you So now I make my way back home Time to follow through Cause it's not home without It's not safe without you near me. Oh, I go on, lose control. I'm halfway home. It's not home without you here. It's not safe without you near me. Why oh, go on? Lose control. I'm halfway home. Halfway home. Woo! Thanks. That was absolutely beautiful. Woo! Well, thanks for having us. Thanks, thanks for, for coming. coming. Yeah. Our pleasure. <laughs> Um, Kat, how much time do we have left? I can't see the clock. Uh, looks like we have about ten, or excuse me, five minutes left. Five minutes left. Oh, okay. About five minutes left. Okay. Get it together, Yenny. Before we gotta runway this shit. Guys, I'm getting a hat. This is the, oh yeah you are. 
Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, here's to hoping Yenny can hide the tape marks on the dress before the final countdown. Ooh. <laughs> Some shade being thrown by Andrew the judge. Isn't that my job? No, your job is to judge, not throw shade. Oh. <laughs> no, it's fine. I can't help it. Yenny's an easy target for me. And I'm sorry, Jacob. <laughs> Why don't you get to putting your podium back where it belongs, Andrew? Because there's an Abby in the way, and if I crash into her, her boyfriend beats me. <laughs> oh, yeah, Danny knows how to beat up somebody. He'll crack me with a cello. He doesn't. Oh, wait. he Wait. Yeah, he does. He does now. <laughs> doesn't he have the cello that you gave him? I'd like to think loaned, but I accept I'm never going to see it again. <laughs> Fuck it. Give me my post-its. <laughs> Make it work. <laughs> ah. You do look like a flapper. <laughs> um, I think this is turning out beautifully. So just start going off of mine. Keep going down. Hey, Brandon, would you be so kind as to hand me this uh, manila envelope that's on the ground so I don't interrupt these ladies? I am slightly concerned over the lack of desserts currently being prepped. I'm unsure what they will serve for the third course. I have the wrong competition again, don't I? Yeah, that's food, Andrew. That's food. None of this is edible. Thank you so much. My three-year-old self would beg to disagree with you on that subject. That's fair enough. I actually have in my hand an amazing memory. When I first moved to Portland, uh, Amanda was going to college at WSU in Pullman. Fuck, cat. Yeah, it's happening now. And uh, thank you, Brandon. And she wrote me a letter that was a compilation of many letters. It had drawings and sketches, diagrams, and all sorts of things. So I'm going to read you a little bit of uh, what she wrote. Not, not everything. <laughs> not everything. Skipping the steamier parts? Skipping the... Parts that mention schoolmates. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Hey, Cat. Howdy. It's me. You know, Amanda. I'm the coolest. Remember? Well, I'm not really doing anything. Just sitting in class, being bored and horny. Spelled with an e. Wait. It's horny, not spelled with an e. There we go. I'm in astronomy, a very boring class that I will never use again. My teacher is a dork. See picture one. So I'm going to refer to <laughs> picture okay. one. So uh, covering the, uh, this is apparently uh, an illustration of Amanda's astronomy it. teacher. Uh, I don't know his name, but we really don't need to. Uh, the important things are his uh, receding, whoop, receding hairline, his adult acne, his oversized Adam's apple, <laughs> just uh, and his ear hair. Time. Those seem to... There's, Many other things, but I digress back to the original letter. Oh, I'm sorry, I fucked it up just now. <laughs> we will not be deducting oh, points. Oh, nope, for it's all still stuck to each other. Dress. It's cool. Oh, God. Uh, all my classes are the same. Boring. My sculpting teacher is very attractive. On the first day of class, I walked in and he was blasting Modest Mouse. Oh, 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 you should probably not talk about this. All right. <laughs> I'm friends with him on the internet. Um, <laughs> He's the married. The end. <laughs> uh, to kids. be continued. Okay, I'm back. Just kicking He's it on my really break cute. between classes. I have to go to painting and finish this crappy painting that I did. Yay, can't wait. I hate um, it when I get behind I on work. How much, how much longer do we have, Cap? You have about uh, 40 seconds. About 40 seconds. Okay, yeah. so how about you shut up? So, yeah. <laughs> All right. Get this done. Apply Hawk Luda. Love any Amanda. You plan on it. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, All man. right. Oh, everybody should probably wrap it up right about Hurry, now. Hurry, rush, yeah, last minute yeah, adjustments, yeah. panic a little. Everybody panic. Last little bits, last oh my little gosh. bits. I love it. You got a whole thing? Yeah. Don't move. Oh. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh All right, we got a ten. Woman. She looks nine, like a bird of paradise eight, or something. Seven, six, five, <laughs> four. <laughs> numbers. Shit. Numbers. Hat. 
One. I'll rock it. All right. Awesome. Everyone put your everything away. <laughs> I'm going to be very careful. And uh, what I we? believe uh, Jacob is going to have uh, I love this. some comments for us and some music to play while we walk the runway, which is just this middle part here. Indeed. Okay, so. avoid scissors and loose staples. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And um, try oh. and hold your. Oh, thank this you for the music, Jacob. I love Amanda, this. <laughs> would you like to go first? Yes. Stand and be judged. Okay. You go first. Papers, please. And don't leave our chats hanging. It's time to get your paper plate out on this runway. Oh, if Gutenberg only knew what he was missing. <laughs> oh, Amanda could make toilet paper look good. All right, my turn. All right, they say don't judge a book by its cover, but in this case, you should, because it's a really good book. They say printed media is dying, but this is giving me life right now. Oh, we had a mandalion, but Cat is a real paper tiger. is rocking it. Right? We went like a bird of paradise, I guess. <laughs> All right, now I mean, what? really, this is a hat or a purse. That. <laughs> it's a clutch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just, can I just, since the, uh, what are we a judging over? Because <laughs> I just want to fix it. I think I'm supposed to be oh, passing so judgment okay. on you in the uh, near future. All right. <laughs> oh, wanna, is, is Andrew, so Andrew is now in charge of judging. Do you have any questions for our designers, Andrew? Of a what the hell were you thinking? Perhaps phrased more politely. Actually, I quite appreciate the technical elements that went into Amanda's dress. Oh, Ro yeah. <laughs> Ro clearly knows how to form to any figure, and using the relics of her childhood has redeemed them into something of actual value to society. <laughs> On Cat, I appreciate Thank the you. passion that went into this. While it may not have the same level of technical expertise, it is clear that Yenny and assistant whose name I've already forgotten... <laughs> Danielle. Danielle. <laughs> poured their hearts and souls out in the form of post-it notes and staples and concealed nothing of what anyone comes to look at Cat for anyways right in the middle. <laughs> it's tits. Like it's it's <laughs> Perfect. I was trying to make it sound slightly classier, but thank you. Tits. For bringing us down back to your level. You can do better. <laughs> you, can do you can do better. Yeah. All right. Um, so I do not know who should get the shoddy prizes. Well, why don't you think about it, and we're going to uh, interview the designers, oh, see how please. they felt about it it's real a purse. quick. That's what it is. It's a purse. Yeah, it's a little clutch. <laughs> All right, Yenny, why Thank don't you I come over? Freedom. Tell us, uh, what did you think? Turn that way. There we go. <laughs> what, uh, what did you expect going into this, and how did your expectations fall apart? <laughs> um, it went exactly as, almost exactly as expected since I had no plans really, except for this morning and I woke up and I'm like, I should probably do something for that thing I'm doing. <laughs> so I just had a bunch of ideas in my head and then I used the whiteboard and kicked Roro out when they came <laughs> in. So, <laughs> all right. Yeah. We were trying to go for more of a old style Victorian with like the corset thing. Mm -hmm. And then it turned into kind of carnival, which I'm liking. I think it turned out fantastic. Yeah. Good yeah. job. Good Even job. the accident of this, it's like perfect right there. Yeah, worked out well. I think you did a wonderful job, oh, Yanni. Thank you. Thank you. Amanda? Hey, Roro. Hey. So, uh, what, what, what question did you ask, Yanni? <laughs> <laughs> oh, how did you feel about this whole thing? <laughs> um, I feel like I did really good. Um, <clears throat> I feel like I did really good. I was looking to do like a flapper type dress with a lot of like feathers and a little hat to go with it. And so I think it kind of conveys that look. Um, and it's exactly what me and Lindsay had talked about. So it's pretty much where I wanted it to be. So I'm pretty happy with it. I think she looks great. It gives a lot of structure. It's very organic, you know, and that's what I'm into. And so, yeah, it really represents what we do. Lovely.
lovely. Thank you. You both did a great job. Yeah. Everybody did a great job. Everybody did a good job. Give it up for yourselves Woo. and everybody else. I think these turned out pretty great. Look, it's not even falling off of our bodies. I really want to get to solid. I really want to hulk out of this like, <laughs> real bad. Uh, I, uh, I haven't been able to uh, outstretch my arms in any way, shape, or form. That's the way we for like it. half the show, at least. Just constricted. Just, just stuck in this shrug, mm -hmm. post-it yep. shrug. All right. I love it. I think it's great. What is, uh, so we're getting weird. down to the down to the final wire. minutes. Andrew, <laughs> Andrew, are you calculating the scores <laughs> that we asked you <laughs> to keep this entire episode? <laughs> this is news to me. I shall activate the random number generator. <laughs> well, let's not kid that ourselves. That is your brain? Yes, pretty much. <laughs> uh, after one too many strikes on the head by J Jacob during commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> I believe we need to not kid ourselves, and I'm also out of time. Roro wins. Yay! Yay! But, right. again, I cannot stress yeah. enough how well oh, Yenny man, and Danielle's passion came through <laughs> yes. in creating this Victorian <laughs> gown. They were, they were so very passionate. It's wonderful. Looks Ooh. like Ro Ro and Lindsay won a shitty badminton set and the DVD of Vera Drake, which is a super depressing movie. Isn't it about abortion? It is about abortion. And uh, a woman doing illegal abortions. I will provide so bonus points if Amanda hulks out before the credits roll. Oh, bonus points for Roro's team. <laughs> they already won. Yeah, they already won. Yeah, so already just won. Be like, I just want to watch her hulk out. I, wanna, I don't want to ruin it. I think that everyone did <laughs> fucking amazing. And, oh, there's the... There's I lost the, his ball cock. Oh, no. Shuttlecock. Shuttlecock. <laughs> Ruin. Ball cock, shuttlecock. <laughs> <Same thing. laughs> Same How thing. do you feel, Roro, now that you've won? I feel like a million dollars. I just want to thank my higher power. <laughs> and I want to thank the man who's gave me everything, my husband. <laughs> and I want to thank my assistant, Lindsay. <laughs> and, I, and I just... It's okay. Blow <laughs> it out your hole. <laughs> I have and to take a moment. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Yenny, Do not forget uh, to record uh, your right. winnings for so tax purposes. That's a huge thank you to Yenny, Danielle, <laughs> Lindsay, Roro, Brandon, everybody here, Aaron, oh, Colin, so Amanda, I guess, uh, and Andrew. Goodbye from Portland Placer Thing. Thank you for tuning in. Happy birthday! Everybody walk! walk. Are we able to walk? Everybody walk. Oh, we didn't do it last time. Oh God! Dude, always when I'm walking, this doesn't play the last thing.